Hey guys, it is me, Hypsarik, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So today is finally the day when we will build that forklift. For those who do not know, the forklift is located at the transport hub. And inside of that transport hub, you can get awesome loot. You can get like tier 3 or tier 4 rewards, such as these copper wires. There are iron bars, and there are a bunch of other cool stuff. And from that fourth crate, because once you assemble the forklift, you'll be able to unlock the fourth crate using a drone. Once you scan it, etc, etc. So you'll be able to get some drone parts, at least from one. What I've heard and uh, yeah I think we'll be able to get those drone parts in order to upgrade your drone but I don't know when we'll be able to even build this drone upgrade workbench as it requires these iron parts we need these copper wires so it's gonna be kind of difficult to build this upgrade workbench but I still want to finish building that forklift as why not I think it's gonna be pretty fun so let's absolutely work towards that thing Let's work towards that forklift. But hey, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker using those timestamps, like going to raids, going to other things. And if you're using those timestamps, please let me know in the comments. It's always nice to see that, hey guys, you are using those timestamps. And now uh, we still need to wait for about like maybe five or something minutes until that transport hub resets. Uh, so we might go for the first raid of the day. So we need to clear the second floor and we need to kill the blind one. So how about we do that? And on top of that, we need to go to Bunker Alpha because we need to get some aluminum wires. So how about we get some red tickets, some yellow tickets, some green tickets. I'll just get the right amount of red tickets and that's it. And the rest, I'll, I'll bring excess of yellow and green tickets to that Bunker Alpha. So let's get ready, buckaroos. Buckle up, buckaroos, buckaroo buckle ups, and let's go. I'm gonna get probably here some first aid kits. Let's get some jerky. I'll maybe take some bandages. I should start using bandages as I'm only healing with the first aid kits. We still have enough first aid kits for life, but whatever. Let's get two stacks of bandages. Let's get here some guns. We have a lot of shotguns, so maybe let's start using them. Not every shotgun has to be used with a spread shot, so... Let's get them. Let's get a few AKs here. And I guess that's more than enough weapons for that bunker alpha. I don't really know if we'll clear it in normal mode. If we'll just speed run through the second floor or we'll activate the hard mode. As in the hard mode, second floor will be able to uh, get that floppy crate. So we might also open up the floppy crate. And this, dude, this is so awesome. Some of you, if you still haven't seen it, this was one of the best changes during the, the most recent update. And this is the change. Just by clicking one button, boom. All of the weapons will be modified. It is insane. It saves like an insane amount of time. I love it. That's it. We can just leave the base now and we can go and enjoy the game. The other now quality of life improvement that I'd love to see in this game, which absolutely is going to change last and its level, is being able to build things without having items in your inventory. Like, let's say if we could build bandages, right? If the game could see your pieces of cloth and chests. That would be awesome if I could just craft bandages like this without like going into one of my chests here, taking these pieces of cloth and then crafting. That'd be awesome. And maybe like auto sword button. That'd be awesome as well. You come to the base, you click, you click one button, boom, and all of your loot gets sorted out into some sort of chest. I'm sure developers could come up with a clever way of doing that. Then that'd be absolutely amazing. We wouldn't have to spend an insane amount of time here at the base, but it is what it is. And welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I've gotten some fuel. I've taken that fuel without even realizing that I went to get fuel. Buggers. Buggers. So, now let's go to that bunker alpha. Maybe I'll require the password. Maybe no. I have no idea. But I guess if you know the password, let me know. Where's the free-to-play account, says crazy, when there is something new to show, I'll show. I've uh, done enough free-to-play series. If you still need more free-to-play videos, make sure to rewatch the old ones. Thank you, Sark! You're welcome. You're bloody welcome. See lots of different passwords. Guys, thank you. You betrayed my trust for today. That is it. Okay, I see actually two people saying the same password. I don't know if I trust it, so I'll just go myself. And I'll just check it out, guys. You can join our Discord, the discord.gg slash happy sire. A link is in the description, and uh, yeah, there you can find the passwords as well. Uh, Bunker Alpha password, and today is 20th. Oh, so 56593, you guys were absolutely correct. Thanks for... Thanks to, the, to those that have left the right password. 
Thank you. Five six nine five three. Five six five nine three. Five six five nine three. There we go. The password worked. Let's hop now lower. So I don't really know if we're gonna clear the second floor in hard mode or in normal mode. And wait, has the transport hub reset? I want to go back up real quick. I want to go back up real quick just to see if the things reset because I want to go to that transport hub and reset the timer myself. <sighs> Let's drink a little bit of water and welcome once again to all those that have just joined. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday. Unless you're watching this live stream when it's not Saturday, when you're watching it on Sunday. If you're watching it on Sunday, hey, let me know. I want to go outside real quick and see what's with that transport hub, if it's reset or not. Maybe we still need to wait for about five minutes. If we have to wait for five more minutes, then I'll just go and deal with the blind one. And then I'll go outside. I'll hop in. I'll reset the timer and uh, we'll go three more minutes. Uh, that's it. I'll just go fight the blind one, guys. I'm not going to waste your three minutes. Oh my God, sake, please waste my three minutes. I'm not going to waste your three minutes. Don't worry, guys. You can breathe safely. Just remind me to go out there and reset the timer again before we start the second hard mode floor. But I should remember that. Hopefully. If you gotta wait for five minutes, you should grind the settlements of the Minecrafter. I will drop kick you, mate. But hey, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see all of you here today. Buggers. Okay, let's open that up. That is it. Let's just quickly blast probably through that uh, hard mode third floor. I'm not going to clear it fully. I won't clear it fully. I'll just deal with the blind one and that's it. That's what we'll do, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we'll absolutely do. Dropkick for life, man. Yes, indeed. Dropkicks are the best. Dude, I miss dying light, too. I miss... I miss dying light. I miss dying light, too. I miss dead island, too. I miss everything. Okay, let's open up the green crate. Let's open up the yellow crate. And let's open up the red crate. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's... Oops, the wrong button. And let's see what kind of goodies we can get inside. Grenade launchers, right? Oh, maybe I can just go up there now and reset the transport hub. Amazing. So we have gotten three of these aluminum wires. We have gotten more aluminum wires. Basically, that's the reason why I opened them up. Because I just wanted to get more... Aluminum wires and we've got an eight extra kind of cool Kind of amazing where is no one survived I think you answered your own question in that In that sentence no one survived No one survived in that game everybody died It's been three minutes, kind of-ish. Let's go outside, then let's reset that thing. We've opened up some crates. And then let's start the hard mode third floor. Do some push-ups. You do some push-ups, mate. Go outside. Do some push-ups. Push Touch some grass, mate. Do something with your life. Oh my god, sir! Thank you for motivating me! You're welcome. You're bloody welcome. Yo, Eduardo Thomas, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Psych. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Did you see Kefir's post about the birthday update? What do you think about the mysterious new bunker and the image of it? Look, Bunker Alpha. It literally was Bunker Alpha's thing. Okay, this thing is going to be set in about 10 seconds. So yeah, they posted like some sort of a picture of it, but I didn't really look too much at it. But it looked like... It looked like normal Bunker Alpha. They didn't really post anything there, I guess. I assume. It's like some sort of a... A puzzle there, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I looked at it. It wasn't too interesting, and that's it. Okay, so the timer has reset, ladies and gentlemen. We can get back to the base. So, yeah, Eduardo, once again, thanks for the super chat, mate. Hopefully that answers your question, because I don't think... I'll show that picture what the... What you're talking about. To those that have no clue what is going on. Um... You 
Yo, Horitoshi. Hi, Rick. I've been watching you since you started this game way before it had any seasons. It's always a great feeling to come back and see that you've progressed so much and how your channel has grown. Hey, hey, hey. Horitoshi, thank you for watching the channel for such a long time. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for staying here. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's really nice to see that there are viewers that watch the channel for a really, really long time, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, thanks, man. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you're just in time maybe for some speculation or for whatever. I mean, it's like some sort of a new sneak peek. So we might as well just check it out, right? Uh... So guys, no worries, I'm just getting the pictures. It takes a while to get them and save them in the right folder. Because I don't want it to be messy. I want it to be Ronaldo. What is going on? Oh my god, Tark, I don't see anything. It didn't copy it, stupid computer. Stupid Windows. And the stupid phone is ticking. Guys, I can't focus. Tark, I don't see anything. Oh my goodness. I can't find the folder where I saved the picture. There we go. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we can see it. Finally, ladies and gentlemen. Took us quite a while. But we did it. Still can't copy-paste it. It's stupid. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you. There is this bunker thing. Correct? I'm like, sorry, what is that? I have no idea. I mean, at first I thought that maybe it looked like Bunker Alpha, but maybe it's not Bunker Alpha. And Jocelyn D. Costa, thank you for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Or should I say the super sticker? And where is it? This one. That's what they have shared as well here. Whatever that's supposed to be. Sorry, I can't see what's written there. It's okay, I'll read it to you. The birthday of Last Day on Earth is approaching. We are going to celebrate it with gift giving and, and among friends. What? We're going to celebrate it with gift giving. Oh, with gift giving and among friends. Uh, that is with you, so welcome. Today we start a game. Come closer and listen carefully. Survival day 2185. This may not be true info since you have lost track of time. None of you had a watch. You are tired of wandering from one ruin of human history to another, only to find them completely devastated by the raider before you. But then a seemingly untouched bunker attracts your attention. Absolutely no one has looted this place. And you see why. Smelling the fresh flesh, a whole horde of zombies appeared as if from nowhere. Your only chance is to break through them in the first room of the bunker and close it from the inside. How many zombies will you kill before you get into the bunker? To kill zombies, you can add a reaction to this post. Okay, so that's it. So are they adding a new bunker or is it just like some sort of a little game? That's it. They say suburb. Maybe a bunker in the suburbs. But like, wait, we can remove that text. Nobody cares. Nobody reads. It's Saturday today. <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't like reading. We play Last on Earth. Like 99% of the players that play Last on Earth don't even know how to read. I'm one of them, so we don't read. Developers should already know that. We don't read and we don't go outside. So is this Bunker Alpha? It looked kind of like Bunker Alpha, like the entrance here. It looked similar to it, but maybe it's different. It is probably different then, so we'll have to wait and see. Luca says, I can read. Sure you can, buddy. <laughs> sure you can. That's a nice knee slapper. <laughs> sure you can read, buddy. Of course you can. Of course you can. Unless you don't play Last and Earth. I mean, I don't know. If you play Last and Earth, then you can't read. That's a fact. That is a fact. Okay, guys. So I don't know if it's a new bunker or not, guys. Am I missing something? Is this like some sort of just a random social entertainment, whatever? where people get to 
post, get to click on those reactions and we just get something newer. This is a new upcoming bunker. It still looks like Bunker Alpha a little bit. So I don't get it. I don't understand, guys. Is a new bunker coming to the game? I mean, maybe it looks like it. it looks like a new bunker might be coming according to... I don't know what. Why would they post this new kind of bunker? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe a new bunker, guys, is coming to the game. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Even in the entrance, the vending machine is on the top and out on the right in Alpha. Yeah, the vending machine is different. If it wasn't for the vending machine, I'd still think that it's Bunker Alpha. But yeah, the vending machines are kind of different, so it doesn't really look like Bunker Alpha. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe a new bunker is coming. I didn't even think too much about it. I saw this post and I thought that it's just a random Bunker Alpha goop and I just closed it. But now, guys, I see what you're talking about. This might actually be bunker a new bunker coming to the game. We'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. That is interesting. What else is interesting? Us going to Bunker Alpha and fighting the blind one and fighting this through the second hard mode floor. And yeah. And yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Let's up in the bunker. So yeah, once again, uh, Horitoshi, thanks for the super chat. Uh, Joycelyn, D Costa, and uh, Eduardo. Thank you. Bunker Charlie. Maybe Bunker Charlie. I don't know. I quite doubt it. I quite doubt that that's Bunker Charlie, but who knows? Maybe 99 waves today. Maybe not. I don't really know if a lot of people are even excited about those 99 waves. I mean, we've done 99 waves quite recently. We could do them, though. We'll see. We will actually see. Maybe we'll do those 99 waves. But actually, it is almost Bunker Alpha. I mean, just check this out. Uh, the room is very similar, except here there are chairs, right? In this spot, we don't have chairs. We only have these plants, and we have the chairs over here. But that's it. There's a vending machine. There's a vending machine that's supposed to be over here, but we don't have it. We only have it here in this picture. Here we have a vending machine, but instead of that vending machine on this picture, we have a mop and a bucket. And here we have but the same exact destroyed chairs. Look at it. You see? There are like three normal chairs. One broken chair, completely destroyed chair, and another kind of broken chair. Same thing here. Three normal chairs and then kind of destroyed chairs. It's like kind of the same. It looks very similar to Bunker Alpha. Same thing. Maybe it is Bunker Alpha. Check this out. We got this piece of paper and this piece of paper is lying on the floor as well so i don't get it it's very similar to bunker alpha like very very similar to bunker alpha but it's kind of not so i don't get it we'll just have to wait and see there's like some what's next there's like something behind that room and we don't have anything behind that room so bunker alpha update they just reused the textures yeah, I mean, I get it, they reused the textures, but it's like way too similar to Bunker Alpha. They reused the textures. Thank you! I'm just saying that even the chairs, like they could have planted, they could have put here different chairs, but it's like the exact same chair layout, the exact same uh, paper. I don't know. Kind of weird, way too many coincidences, but maybe it's a new bunker, maybe it's nothing new. We'll have to just wait and see. In any case, let's hop to the fourth floor, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, just the third floor. If I had known that, hey, this is my, this might be a new bunker. I should have read more about it. The title would have been something different, like new bunker is coming to the game. That would have been absolutely poggers. That would have been absolutely poggers. But whatever, ladies and gentlemen, it's fine. We talked about that new bunker, bunker Charlie. Hmm. Bunker Charlie's finally coming to the game, maybe. Maybe they will enlarge Bunker Alpha. If we'll get Bunker Alpha update, I'll be kind of disappointed. Like, honestly, I think it'll be disappointing. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, you can't just say, oh, that's bad, right? Like, be before even the thing comes out. But I really feel like it'll be bad. Because Bunker Alpha... Is Bunker Alpha. We have already played... So long in that Bunker Alpha, everybody knows Bunker Alpha. I don't think they really need to change Bunker Alpha. So why would they add more stuff to Bunker Alpha? Unless it's a new floor. But if they're going to change everything here, then maybe it'll become harder. Maybe you're not going to get as much loot. They'll finally nerf it and we won't get anything. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. 
I am very skeptical. If it's if they are upgrading Bud for Alpha, I'll be very skeptical of it. But chances are, like what I think most likely, maybe it's not a new bunker here that we can see here. Maybe it's just a random post here, like a random story where developers can kind of play and communicate with the community of the game. Because they've done that in the past, like, they would, like, post some sort of a picture and they'd say vote left or right. And then the character goes left and, like, the story continues on what happens when they go left, right? Do you kill that survivor or do you save that survivor? Majority of the people, let's say, vote to save that survivor. And then developers write the story on what happens when they save that survivor. For those who didn't know what I'm talking about, we had, like, some sort of a story from the developers a while ago. Maybe a few years ago. So maybe it's the same thing again. As they said, like, hey, uh, hit that reaction to to fight off a zombie. So maybe by when we get, like, 1,000 or 2,000 reactions or something, they'll open up another room and it's just, like, another story. Maybe it's not a sneak peek to a new bunker. Maybe we are thinking too much about it. Maybe it's not a new bunker. I don't know. Nobody knows. Somebody in the chat said what? It's fine. Nothing, mate. Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Nothing. Just hanging around. That's a nice meme. Like, probably the best, like, 2023... Uh, I don't know, maybe April meme? April, May meme? I have no idea when that meme started floating around. But it's a nice meme. What are you doing? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. whole lot of nothing. Maybe. Another floor, another bunker. It's a win-win. I mean, if they add another floor, it's a win. If it's another bunker, it's a win. If they upgrade bunker alpha, then it's interesting, but they'll probably make it harder for new players, which for me, I don't care, but new players will have a harder bunker, which I don't think they'll do this. Why would they work on bunker alpha? It's, it's already a good place. In any case. No, that's a knee slapper. What do you mean, a knee slapper? Are you making fun of memes? How are you, Cyric? I'm doing great. Hopefully you're doing great as well. Okay, let's activate this. So the reason why we are fighting the blind one is because raiders want me to kill the blind one in order to in order to do a raid. So that's what we'll do. Okay, we need a few more shots. It could be the anniversary bunker event because of the happy birthday sign, maybe. 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 Blind one needs anger management. Don't we need anger management? I mean, the dude's just sitting here doing nothing, and yet we came here to attack it. As I said many times already, we are the bad guys in Last and Earth Survival. We're not the good guys. Nobody comes to attack us. Like, nobody attacks us. We just stay there. That's it. We are the bad guys. We are attacking everybody. There's the rest up event. Who comes and kills everybody at that rest up event? Us. The only thing that attacks us are zombies, regular zombies, but from human beings, we are the worst ones here. When is more 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.85 scum survival updates uh, videos uh, soon? Soon there will be more scum survival videos, no worries about that. There will be absolutely more videos. More videos are coming. No worries, Bakaroos. Okay, that's it, we are ready. We can probably go and clear now the second floor because we kind of have to go and do it. So let's go and clear the second floor. Hey, Cyric, it seems like you're not doing the chopper events anymore, question marks? Well, it seems like you are wrong, sir, because I've done a chopper event yesterday. Oh my god, Tarek, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't know. I just wrote a random sentence. It's fine. 
It's fine. It's like, it seems like you're not doing Bunker Bravo anymore. Well, I've done Bunker Bravo last time during the last live stream. Oh, it's just that you're not doing it right now. So I thought you're not doing it. Haha. -ha. I'm sorry. You're welcome. I mean, I can't do the rest up event all the time. It takes like five minutes to do, and this is a two hour live stream. So just because I'm not doing the rest up event here right now at this exact nanosecond doesn't mean I don't do rest up events. But like, why are you giving such an answer? Uh, what question? Uh, wait, how do I say this? My answer is as good as the question. Doesn't make any sense. Stupid questions, you get stupid answers. There we go. You can't expect a good answer from a stupid question. Which it probably wasn't even a stupid question. It was just a question. Oops, I'm losing my armor. Sorry, it seems like you're not grinding the settlement. I'm not at the base right now. I am at Bud Kralfa. Cyric? Did you quit the settlement? I don't know, mate. Did I? Okay, let's deal with this. And uh, so there's that washing machine. I'm not even going to loot it. I won't loot it. Sorry, it looks like you quit the motel. You haven't cleared it. Okay. okay. Let's get more of that loot and let's go. Did you quit the transport hub? Yes, I've been searching for another good location that... This is... Sorry, did you quit the transport hub? That's what I wanted to say. Yes, that's perfect, mate. Who said this? I need to find this. Oh, real jam. Thanks, mate. That's a good joke. It's like, did you quit the transport hub? You haven't cleared it in 48 hours. Why did you quit it? Why do you hate transport hubs, Eric? Okay. By the way, I am kidding. To that person that said that question, I am just kidding, mate. No worries. You might be saying that. Sorry, stupid Eric. Making fun of me. Making fun of my question. Dude, I am just kidding. Hopefully you understand that I'm just joking, mate. Right. Right. I just wanted to have some fun with the comment and that's it. Doesn't mean I have anything against the comment. I think that actually, like all jokes aside, the comment was pretty reasonable. Even though I have done the rest of event quite recently. Like, I mean, I want to make that comment reasonable. It was probably pretty reasonable. There we go, we got this dude. Yeah, I know. Nice, 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 nice. People know that I'm joking. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Is it worth it to get to one, uh, 1.5 K cargo points? My first epic tier was trash. I mean, it depends. Maybe it was worth. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. It's like, did you quit alpha? I'm literally in bunker alpha right now. My armor is going to break though. Okay, maybe that question was worded incorrectly. Like, if it was... Psych, do you still clear rest-up events? I'd be like, yeah, I still do. Or maybe I'd just ignore that question. I wouldn't even see it because there's nothing to say to that question. Maybe I would say it. Maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. Because it's just a basic question. It's like, do you still clear rest-up events? Yes, I clear them. That's it. There's nothing to say. It doesn't generate a question. But when you say, Cyric, why did you quest quit rest-up events? There we go. This question can generate a conversation here right now. So it is what it is. It is what it is.
why you're not using bandages. I don't know. My armor's gonna break. Okay, let's deal with this floater, bloater, and let's get a new armor. What did you quit last day on Earth? I actually get these comments when I don't post last day on Earth for for two hours. People are like Cyric. Old Cyric was better. Old Cyric used to post last day on Earth. New Cyric doesn't play last day on Earth anymore. I'm like, I literally posted last day on Earth like three minutes ago. Oh. I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> Didn't know. Okay. Um. Let's get a new armor. But Cruz, let's get a new armor. There we go, the shoes. Let's equip these shoes. Idiot, equip them! There we go, we did it. Let's not also forget looting these chests because I need to loot them in order to get aluminum wires. If I missed any aluminum wires, let me know. I shouldn't have missed them, though. Not yet. You missed 500 wires back there. Thanks for letting me know. I'll go back and get them. I'll absolutely get these wires. And more tags. Let's get the lockers. But say, why did you stop touching the grass? I don't know. Grass is dirty. I don't like touching dirty grass. Missed a dead body. I left it for later. I don't miss stuff, guys. I leave it for later. I leave that stuff for later. Oh, there we go. One aluminum wire. Hell yeah! That's exactly what the doctor ordered. One... Aluminum wire. Grass is poisonous. I mean, I'm pretty sure some grass, some grass is poisonous. I never tried eating grass. I mean, cows can eat grass. What if humans start eating grass? I mean, humans eat some sort of salad. But can you eat grass? I don't know. Oh, I still got attacked in the face. Unbelievable. I got both of them. So there's no way we'll have enough items in order to do that. Whatever the thing is called. To open up the floppy crate. As we've just opened up that floppy crate last time. So there's no way we'll have enough resources. Enough of these hard mode items. But that's at least something. Maybe after we clear fourth floor. Maybe the second floor. Then we'll have enough items to, to open up the floppy crate. It is what it is. Wait, did I get any aluminum wires? I didn't look for them. Yes, we did. Yes, we actually did get an aluminum wire. Somebody said wires in the chat. There, I just got them. Just picked them up. You missed wires in the lockers. I got them, ladies and gentlemen. I got them. I went back. I got them. Okay, let's get a shoddy. And there's still only 15 levels of hard mode. When you think about it, 15 levels is a lot of levels. Like, you have to play the game for a while. I mean, it also depends for how long you are supposed to play this game. For how long it's supposed to... For how long it's meant to be played. Like, are you supposed to play it for a year? Because I think if Last on Earth is made so that you play it only for a year or something, then it's already a really long time. Like, to play one game for a year is a long, long time. And in one year, can you unlock 15 levels of hard mode bunker? Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, playing it for one year is already a ridiculous amount of time. 
to play a mobile game for a year. Like, that's like... Pfft, ridiculous amount of time when you think about it. And if we're talking about two, three, four years, five years, like, that's just... You can't expect that. It's majority pe majority of the people won't play it for that long. That's nuts. For five days, Lazarus has been meant to play for five days. Yes. Five business days. Okay, we can almost open up that floppy crate. Almost. Okay, let's get some of the loot from these crates and let's try to bring more loot back to the base. Here we go, get the guns. Wait, we also needed a C4 for the raid. For the raid that we are about to do, but yet we did not get it, so we'll have to get it from the inbox. Let's try to drop the crates. Blip blop. Blip blop. Not the crates, but let's try to drop the armor. Do I really need to... Did I have to drop this armor here? Why do I have this broken armor here? Excuse me, sir. I did not sign up for that. No one gas. Guys, we will take the rest of the loot. I didn't have enough space. <sighs> And then you're like, psych, why? Why do you get mental breakdowns? First of all, I don't get mental breakdowns. Second of all, I mean, you guys, I didn't have enough space in this inventory. Like, you have common sense, do you? Psych, you didn't get gasoline. Why you hate gasoline? You don't need gasoline anymore, guys. I didn't have space. I couldn't take all of it. Psyrek gasoline! I'll get it. I'll get it. I didn't have enough space, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have enough space. I can't take all of it at the same time. He doesn't get mental breakdowns because he doesn't have hardware for it. The Minecrafter. You're working. You are walking on a thin line, my friend. On a thin line to being promoted to a customer. Unbelievable. What do you mean I don't have the hardware to get a mental breakdown? Are you calling me stupid? Because if you are, then just say so. Because I don't understand. Um... I don't want to bring everything back to the bases. I don't need everything. Do you feel me? Do you follow me? I don't need everything, everything. Looks like you can send stuff to the VIP storage. <sighs> okay, I'll delete stuff that I don't need and then I'll send that stuff to the storage. Oh my god, like that mask is worth it! I'll left it for you guys. Every time I delete something, it increases your chances to get it yeah I don't want to clutter that VIP box okay because it's not infinite and I don't need that garbage because that thing will get sent to my base one day and I don't need this goop I don't need for example this armor it's not a bad armor like you should get it like I use it on all of my free-to-play accounts but we just have enough armor that we don't have to use that one that's it there you go we sorted all of it Ladies and gentlemen, we've sorted all out. We've sorted it all out. Let's go back to the base and let's go for the raid. The springs. We have hundreds of springs at the base. Springs are pretty common. Like, they are everywhere. Like, that's the whole point. Like, they're in Bunker Alpha. That's why we don't need them. Bruh, the gas tank. What am I going to do with that gas tank? We have dozens of them. I don't know, Cyric. Exactly. Exactly. Springs R.I.P.
Okay, so we'll have more <laughs> springs. We have enough springs at the base. They don't fit. They don't fit in my chest, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I don't get it. Even the aluminum wires are common, but you still don't have it. I had a lot of aluminum wires. I had enough aluminum wires, but... Um... What happened? I used up all of them in that echo event, guys. I used it up. Sag's base is about Kralfa. Yes. Kinda right. Kinda right. I am joking to... Everybody's joking. I was joking to... Who's joking about what? I don't understand what's going on. All of you, all of you became comedians all of a sudden. The chat is a circus, and all of you are clowns, guys. Is that a nice way to put it? I am a clown as well, guys. Don't worry. You might be like, oh my god, I don't want to be a clown. I am a clown. We're all clowns, guys. And we're all in a circus. The chat is a circus, and you guys are clowns. I'm an absolute genius. There we go. I did it. I did it. I came out with a nice analogy. Okay, so now we need to drop guns. We need to sort out our inventory, and then we need to go for a raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. The run zombies at the hub have a buffed attack. They do 15 damage now with SWAT armor. Crazy when you have five uh, wailing on you. Hmm. I take it personally, says Turkano. Don't take it personally. Do not take it personally. Okay, we need to craft also 21st aid kit. So let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Uh, happy Scyther Day. Ah, Kasyrik Scyther Day. <laughs> Hilarious, guys. I told you, you're clowns. Glad you're streaming and I'm awake to tune in. Welcome, Matthew. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we needed to eat this food. Lots of clown emotes in the chat. Very epic. You guys are embracing who you are. <laughs> we are clowns. Clowns stick together. Okay. Fair enough. Clowns together. Strong. I'm a clown too. You know what? I will join the clown party. There we go. I joined the clown party myself, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. In the chat too. I'm a clown too, guys. I stick with you. One clown for all and all clowns for one. Yes. Optimus Prime. Says, uh, Alech. Nice. I can't focus. Why did I bring this crowbar back to the base? Can somebody explain that to me? Can somebody enlighten me? Clowns forever. What modification do you have on AK's uh, good mods? Ha! Say so just answer his question. He's a new player. Okay. Okay, mate. These are the mods that I have in my AK. These are the mods that I have. <laughs> Imagine it's your first time, like, writing something in the chat. And you get scolded for it. I didn't scold anybody! Alright, we're just having fun here. Right? Right? Guys, don't be scared to ask questions. This random person asks a question. It's like, you're stupid! How don't you know that? I never called anybody stupid. Okay, guys, so first of all, you are wrong in that. It's like, but we didn't even say that. Of course you didn't. Okay, I think we've reached the point where it's getting dangerous. I started talking to myself, actually. Are we grinding the, uh, grinding the settlement today? Yes, we are. 
Yes, we are grinding the settlement. Wait, so let's craft stack of first aid kits and then let's go to that raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Question. Can I ask a question? Sure, go for it. Make sure to ask it. You took back the crowbar to your own base because you wanted to rob your own base. Question mark. Hi, by the way. Welcome, mate. And I think I took the crowbar because in my head, like, every time I'll see a crowbar, I keep hearing that little tip and trick that I have in my head. Oh, crowbars are very nice. Craft crowbars if you want to craft bunker alpha. Get leather. You get leather from killing deer. Like, you dry leather. You get iron by smelting iron or blah, blah, blah. So I just took those crowbars because in my head, like, they're nice uh, melee weapons. But it doesn't mean that I don't need them. I just took them on autopilot. That's why I probably took those crowbars. Once you answer a certain question many times, you look at things differently. Lol, well, I talk to myself too, says Orin. Uh, I guess that's good. I talk to myself more than average, uh, more than an average person. Like, it's, it's getting to a dangerous territory, but... I mean, I don't mind it. Like, sometimes I'll be editing a video, right? And then I get, and then I come up, like, with an insane topic. Like, I need to... I need to talk to somebody. And I'm like, nobody's gonna be interested in that. So I'll just stand up from my chair and I'll just start working around the room. And I'll start, like, talking to myself. Like, explaining something, like, crazy. Like, dude, that's, like, that's insane. And that's it. And then I go back to editing or doing whatever I did. Is that crazy? Probably. But I like it. Feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> All of you are gonna think that I'm crazy. Guys, it's fine. Talking with the voices in my head. No, I don't talk to the voices. I don't hear voices, luckily. I don't have any voices in my head. I do that every day. Yes. <laughs> talking to yourself, gang. Assemble. As soon as we assemble all together, they'll put us to, into a mental asylum. Get five hatchets here. Sometimes I'll be watching a podcast, right? And they'll say something on that podcast that maybe I don't agree with or that I'd explain something better. And then I have to pause that podcast and I have to continue that podcast with myself on how I would explain that. Is that normal? I don't know. Do I care if it's normal? Not really, because it's pretty cool. You get to explore other thoughts, even though the, those thoughts are your own. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff talking to yourself, guys. Wood. Yes, we are getting some wood. Let's craft a few hatchets here. We call it guessing. No, I don't guess what they'll say. Like, they'll talk uh, during a podcast and they say something that I don't particularly agree with, or I'd like to expand on what they said. So I'll just pause it, and I'll just continue their topic on my own, and that's it. It's fine. A little bit of crazy is fine. Am I ready? I think we are ready. We got everything. That's it. The chopper's empty. Everything's empty. Let's go for the raid, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. You simply try to elaborate to it to yourself. Yes. I like elaborating it to myself. Feed the doggos and touch berry pump for good luck. <laughs> Says Matthew Spumman. That's too late. We haven't touched that berry pump in, in months. Perhaps even in a year. Don't mention the berry pump. We don't talk about it. Let's have a little bit of water. And let's go for a raid. LDOE raid player 5805. Ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do research. It's like, how do you do research? That's how you do research. You go on YouTube, you type whatever player base you want to raid. Like in my case, LDOE raid player 8305. And then you can see how to raid that particular base. Uh, are we going to go? The player 5805. Yes. Are we gonna run there? E drive there. 
Let's go. That base sounds familiar because there are lots of player bases. That's why it sounds familiar. Your videos help me a lot, especially with Bunker Alpha. You're welcome. Explaining the concept to yourself. Yeah, like, I mean, sometimes it's just easier to explain a certain concept to yourself. It is what it is. They should add a cat to last on Earth. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so let's probably open up uh, this door over here. I don't even know why I brought that C4 when this base doesn't require a C4. But let's go for it. Is it let's fun do it. to raid players? Is it fun to raid players? Says Upcake Duck. Upcake Duck? Hopefully that's the, the... I read it correctly. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. And is it fun to raid players? I mean, first of all, we are not raiding real players here in the game. Everybody's AI here. AI, I mean, the AI is the wrong term for it. Like, everybody's a bot here. We are not raiding real players. These are pre-made bases already. Like, developers have put these bases in the game. We are not raiding real players here. We are raiding bots, not real players. So that's why you can do research on these bases as these are not real bases. You cannot raid a real player in this game. So hopefully that answers your question. There's nothing, there's no multiplayer in this game. When you find a player in the forest, that's a bot. That's not a real player. If you want multiplayer, you need to go to the Sector 7. And in Sector 7, you can find real players. That's my base mate. Don't break my stuff. Of course. Some people were upset though. Like I have gotten a handful of those comments being like, Cyric, you're like blah blah blah, raiding other people's bases. Like, why are you doing this? Imagine if it was your base. And they get kind of angry that I raided that base, but it's like, it's not a real base. This game doesn't make sense to raid like real bases because you put way too much effort into this base. It's not Rust where you play a game for like four or five hours and you get to lose your progress and you get to restart it. Like, in this game, you play for weeks. Expect for weeks, but for months, for years, and you'll get raided and you lose everything. You'll lose months of progress. Like, that doesn't work. This game doesn't work like that. You can't be raided. I mean, sometimes you still get raided and you lose your items, but bots raid you, not real players raid you. I didn't explain that as well. So, yeah, bots raid you, not real players. I'm also checking if I lost any aluminum wires because I know I might have. Is it morning where you live? No, it's evening. It's almost 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Setting your alarm. Um, That's it. I don't think there's anything else we need to take. So does this base get Sykes approval? Pretty sad. That's a pretty sad base if I have to say so myself. I was told the Sector 7 was removed and they added the crater instead. I see you are very smart. Unless you're not being... Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to make noise. Sector 7 is still in the game. Sector 7 and the crater is still the same thing. But yeah, they have removed Sector 7 from the game and they have added the crater. But some people, like myself, we... And those other people, me and the other people, we refer to, that sec to, to the crater as Sector 7. Same thing as it's canned food, right? I don't have canned food here. I know there is canned food. Like, it is canned food, but we just call it beans. There we go. I did it. Guys, if you uh, look up in the morning and you see your base, it's raided. That's Happy Cyric. He did all the raiding. Do be like that. Somebody gave it a 4 out of 10. Excuse me? That raid was pretty bad, though. Modded spears outside of the base exist, but hmm, that's interesting. Says Polska Guro. Welcome into the stream. Oh my God, I could speak Polish. Yeah, just occasionally. I do speak a little bit of Polish. I went to Polish school for 12 years. I'm Polish. I was born and raised in Lithuania, but I went to a Polish school because my parents are Polish, and a lot of people are Polish in Lithuania. In any case, that's the whole other topic. Let's drop some iron. 
And uh, let's get ready for that transport hub because we've all gathered here today for a special occasion because Sayak is going to build that forklift finally. Yes. Zemnik says, yo, that's nice. I didn't know that you're Polish. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Wall polisher. I really don't... I don't understand the joke. But you very nicely said Polska Guru. I mean, as I said, I went... I am Polish. I speak Polish. Whenever I'll say something in Polish and people are like, Oh, that sounded really nice. Uh, thanks, it better be. I went 12 years to a Polish school. I spoke Polish for... All my life. So it... It better sound good. So, Cyric, you're Polish, says the Minecraft. Guys, I'll drop kick you. That's it. Enough with the silly questions. Uh, let's go to that transport hub, as there we will assemble that... Uh, whatever the thing is called, Afrogar. Afrogar again. The forklift. I'll be the... I'll be a certified forklift operator. I've driven a forklift once. I already told you that story. I've driven a forklift once probably in my entire life and almost broke my hand at that time. That's it. So I'm not a certified forklift operator. When you can't make the drone, but you can make the forklift. You can make the forklift before you can make the drone? What? No, you can deal raiders and modded spirits much cheaper. Yes, thank you. I'm aware of that. But thank you, mate. Really cool. Thank you. Thank you, mister. Mm, the three IQ brain cells working. Loading. Okay, that's where we drop those red tickets. That's it. I'm just going to drop some fuel and then we can go for the raid. Raider is a dumb, says the Minecrafter. They do be kind of... <laughs> Stupid. They are a little bit silly, Willy. They take everything. They take spears. They take electronic circuits. The reason why I gave them that electronic circuit because we have enough of them at the base. We have almost a hundred of these electronic circuits. So sometimes I'll just give them an electronic circuit and that's enough. And that is enough. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? The brain is thinking. I mean, we can quickly check the the quest that we need to do. So we need to go and clear the bunker, uh, the farm location. What say factory? Bunker factory. What it say? But it's a farm location. We gotta clear that. They also take beer cans as try for all. Welcome into the stream. I didn't know that. Some people have told me that, but I've never tried it. So yeah. Okay, let's get ready, guys. Let's buckle up and let's get that forklift. So first of all, remember when I took that picture? A while ago on the phone, I still have it. You might be like, sorry, you're lying. No, I'm not. No, I ain't lying. I still have that forklift, guys. I still have the forklift picture focused. You see, I still have it. I still have it, so... You see? So I'm just gonna take everything that we need for it. And we will assemble the forklift today. Today, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you, if you die, you lose all the loot. We're not gonna die. We will not die. Or maybe I shouldn't take it now. You know what? I don't want to lose my loot. That's it. I'll come back here after we clear that place. I'll come back here and I'll get that forklift stop. So don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Don't fret. Take. I use my grenade launcher on the blind one. Nice. Very random piece of information, but nice. Uh, let's get these weapons. Let's get that for the miners or butchers or whatever other enemy that we'll have to fight there. 
Is there anything else that we need to take? I'm taking more shotguns because we have a lot of shotguns at the base and I really don't kind of use them. So might as well start using that. Might as well just start using that stuff. There we go. That's enough. That, in that is enough, buckaroos. Keep it in the chopper. Ooh, that's a good idea. But am I going to do it? I kind of doubt it. I'll just come back to the base. Maybe we should keep it in the chopper. Okay, you know what? I will keep it in the chopper. That's a good idea. At first, I thought that it's like kind of a meh, like a mid idea, but maybe it's a good idea. So we're going to keep the resources required for that forklift in the chopper. Unless it all doesn't fit. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, slots. And it should be enough. There we go, guys. Let's get some of these guys. Let's get five rotors. Can be crafted on an electronics workbench. Excuse me. In the settlement. Okay. Understandable. We need 10 titanium. Hello, hello, says Rudy. Welcome, Rudy Alejos. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. How are you doing? What's popping, as they say? And we need 20 motor oil. My favorite. Yo, sorry, how many spark plugs can you get on the gas station? I have no idea. You get one, two, maybe three spark plugs. Most of the time you get one to two spark plugs. I don't know if you can get three spark plugs. And we need to get a little bit of titanium, ladies and gentlemen. Where do I store it? Here? Probably not. A drone. We also got to get a drone. You're big brain. You are... Big brain, the Minecrafter. Leave those C4s, schmuck. Okay. <laughs> I will leave the C4s. I'm sorry. I didn't see them. Uh, titanium. We go get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have a question to you. You might be like, me? You have a question for me? Yes, I have a question to you guys. You have a question for you. Are you ready to assemble that forklift? Are you ready to see the forklift in action? Psych, will you be able to drive it? No. But we will assemble it. So, are you ready? So, are you absolutely ready? Why don't you, why don't you stream Twitch, Cyric? Uh, I can't stream Twitch. I can only stream on Twitch. But why I don't stream on Twitch? Because why would I stream there if I can stream here? I don't know, Psych. Exactly. Exactly. But the long answer pretty simple. Twitch and YouTube, they both have ads. Twitch, uh, ads on Twitch probably pay like 10 times, if not even more, maybe 50 times less than ads on YouTube. So if I stream on Twitch, I won't be able to pay rent. If I won't be able to pay rent, I won't be able to play Last Dinner Survival. If I won't be able to play Last Dinner Survival, there won't be Last Dinner Survival videos. So if I stream on Twitch, there will be no Happy Cyric. There we go. Pretty simple answer. There we go. Let's go over here. Which location is best for farming air filters, by the way? Bunker Alpha, probably. I need around 20, and I've been getting some in Bunker Alpha every two days, but nowhere near enough. I mean, this game's made so that you play it for, for over a year, probably, right? So... Yeah. You need to clear Bunker Alphas to get enough air filters. Maybe there are some other places where you can get air filters. I mean... Yeah, but Bunker Alpha is the best place, the easiest place to get air fil air filters. Like, other places would be very expensive. You can get air filters from the sewers, says Cat in the chat. You can maybe also get air filters from the sewers as well. So, there's that. Okay. 
Okay, so welcome to the transport hub, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to assemble that forklift. To those that have just joined, today we are assembling the forklift and we are going to open up that forklift crate. We have all the weapons necessary. We have everything that we need to take with us. So we will be able to do it. We will open up that crate for the first time ever. Lab air filters uh, are expensive. Yeah, you can probably also get air filters at the laboratory. But yeah, Bunker Alpha has the cheapest air filters. So you also have to clear Bunker Alpha anyways every two days. So you just clear Bunker Alpha and you will get those air filters. That's like the best probably tip and trick that I can give you. Okay, let's send that stuff to the VIP. Can you tell me what is this emulator? I use Memo Player. Hungry Chompers. And Smashers. Oh, no, 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 no. There's the Spitter. Let's remember about the Spitter. Let's remember about the Spitter. Let's go outside. That Spitter is over here. I'm gonna run towards that Spitter. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. There we go. We got that Acid Melter. Oh, Lord. Oh, let's get these shotguns. There we go. That's it. I'm no longer bleeding. Bloody lovely. We did it. We did it. Killed the miner boss without the wall tricking. I haven't wall tricked miner in a while now, and we still killed it. We still killed it. How's the acid bath recipe changed? Says Raul. I don't know. Probably not, but again, it's been a really long time since I've assembled that acid bath. It's nice to assemble it to have more storage in the base, even though it's not intended to have more storage, but you can get more storage out of that acid bath. So, yeah. That's kind of the only thing what I do with acid bath. Okay. There's this schmuck. Okay, just slept. That dude kept on sleeping. Say again, Raul Sayak. What do you mean? It's Raul. It's his name is Raul. What's interesting about a name? Hmm? It's just a name. I'll go get this pistola and I will deal with this toxic daughter. Okay, let's open this up. Let's open up the briefcase. And the briefcase had only a USB. Sad life. Uh, 12 racks or 3 by 4 steel room. What should I do? I mean, it depends uh, what depends what you need. If you can't raid, then probably go for the steel room. You can always upgrade the racks later. Probably steel room is better because once you craft that steel room, mostly you can probably store most of your loot inside of that steel room. So you'll be able to do raids. I'd rather I'd probably go for the steel room. Because crafting chests is kind of easier. You can craft those chests like little by little. They only take like 5 to 10 steel. And you can get 5 to 10 steel kind of often. So if you already have the resources and you're just deciding what to craft, then using all of those resources on upgrading the base is better. But it all depends. Like a lot of the things just depend on your situation. Maybe it's better to craft boxes if you have no boxes at all. So it all depends. I can't answer that question. But if you have the resources for it, you're not gonna go wrong with either of those. But yeah. With either of those options. But I would probably upgrade the base. That's what I would personally do. Okay. Got one. Yeah. 
Okay, there are lots of these riot zombies. Just look at that. Now they're all gonna pick up those riot shells. This is so stupid. Maybe we don't even have to fight them, bruh. Maybe we can just loot this place without fighting these guys. That'll be absolutely hilarious. Let's flip the switch. Stop it! Whoa, whoa! Almost died, but they will keep following me. I need to get them. I need to get these idiots. But they're so annoying. There are way too many of them. Like, look at this! They just... Can't do anything. Okay, one of them died. Nice. Let's open up the door. So they have the shields again. Sad Cyric. This is absolutely sad Cyric. Totally sad Cyric. Can a grenade damage riot zombies if their shields are up? No. They still get zero damage when they have their shields up. Well, that's it. Finally, we dealt with them. Is there anything else I need to loot? Probably not. We can only exchange the blueprints. There's a chest, but the chest is up there. It's the suitcase, the briefcase. We've already opened it up. And uh, let's go here and let's deal with this acid melter. There we go. Got him. That's it. So we're almost ready to go and fight the miner. There are only a few more zombies left. And then we are ready. Go, let's send that stuff. It's like the shield is glued to them. Yes, indeed. I have no idea how it works. But they're very annoying. Those zombies are very annoying. Kind of like 10 out of 10 annoying. Okay, so let's go up those ladders and let's fight the miner. I mean, we are almost ready to fight. There are still a few more zombies left. And then we can fight that schmuck, and then we can assemble that forklift. Let's not forget about the forklift. Let's not forget about the reason why we've all gathered today. Okay, I'll probably have to drop lower and there will be that spitter. Yeah, I can't shoot that guy. That's fine. What time do you start your live stream? Uh, here's a tip and trick. Uh, you can click on the live stream down there and you can say, it, it says how long ago I've started that live stream. And I usually start the live stream from th 3 to 6 p.m. Central European time. From 3 to 6 p.m. Central European time. That's when I start the live streams usually. There we go. I did it. I answered the question. Yo, Fernie, welcome to the stream. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Okay, let's open up this door real quick. Okay, there's this toxic darter. Come here, schmuck. Should I use raw meat for the steaks or beef jerky? Beef jerky is better because it's free. For the steaks, you need to actually craft them. You need to cook them. And beef jerky can be done for free on a drying rack. And they give the same amount of health. Oh no, this gun is useless. Bruh. Just realized that. I mean, I know that it's useless, but. In any case, let's deal with all of them. It's gonna take quite a while to deal with all of them. Got him, and there's only one more smack left. The annoying part, the annoying part is that they do heal up. But we got him. Annihilated them. So yeah, these guys can drop some Bunker Alpha coupons. Sadly, they don't drop a lot of red ones. Wish they dropped more red coupons. Uh, 
Oh, there's a body. What? Pick up this container and take it as far from here as possible. Drop it where there are no people anymore. And get back soon. Know it in the pilot's pocket. Pick up this container. What? Does that make any sense? And yeah, guys, today we're going to be assembling this forklift. We will do it. We will absolutely do it. It's like, did you grind the settlement? Uh, not yet. We are grinding the settlement right now, to be honest. To be completely honest. Okay, I'll send all of that probably to the settlement besides. Maybe I should keep that stuff as well. I mean, I'm not going to keep it. Why do I need cameras? I'm not an idiot. Okay, I can't sell these things as they're full. The VIP storage is full. Okay. And we have here one more box. So let's get this drone. Let's get the box. Test one mine on miner. Okay. Okay. Sounds reasonable. And we've just gotten a mine. This game listens to me. We have gotten a mine. And I am going to test it. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Can I send some of this stuff, perhaps? Nope, that thing doesn't fit. First aid kits, perhaps. Nope, that thing doesn't fit. Bandages, perhaps. Nope. Ooh, how do I send it without deleting things? I can't do anything. Okay, let's get that. Okay, we will do it. Let's check it out. Let's go for it, boomers. Minor boss time, maybe. Depends. We don't know what kind of a boss it's going to be. Might be a butcher. Do you craft your own weapons? You don't craft them. You don't craft weapons in this game. You'll find them. You need to find weapons. In Bunker Alpha, basically. Okay, guys, we're absolutely ready. But before we begin, we need to have some awesome boss music. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. We have now the boss music. We are ready. You know, let's get that drone. I almost never use it because it's that bad. Okay, uh, let's park that drone here. This way, it'll shoot them without moving. Okay, we got some of them. Even though, again, the boss music is playing, but the boss is still not here. It's fine. Wow, that boss now, that drone lasted longer. Crossing fingers for a settlement crate. I mean, we will be opening up the forklift crate, and the forklift crate is not the settlement crate. The forklift crate usually is drone crate, so... I don't think we'll get the settlement crate unless we have gotten one already. So we'll see. We'll decide. But I mean, it's a forklift video. The title is live stream is titled about the forklift. So I can't open up a better crate. So no matter how bad is the forklift crate, I'll have to open it up. Don't use all the battery. You have more crates. Even when you run out of batteries, you can still use it, I guess. You don't need batteries. It doesn't use batteries, I guess. Okay, guys, let's get the... I mean, there are just zombies inside, not miners. Okay, got them. Is there anything that I can pick up? We'll probably get a guitar again here, guys. Check this out. There we go. We have gotten a guitar epic. Speaking of a guitar, my electric guitar is coming. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. I already got the amp for it today. I just need to wait for the guitar. Okay, th now we can find here more zombies as well. The miner isn't there. We heard it. We heard those zombies growl. Today we should get the second crate that has iron rods. Well, I'm not... 
gonna open up that crate. As I won't be able to open up that crate. Okay, that's it. We are ready to go and fight the boss. Let's get these things, except before we do that, we need to drop a mine. Let's not forget about it, because I might step on that mine here myself. There we go. Let's see how much damage this mine can do to the boss. Um, I'll get a shotgun. And this armor is about to break, so hopefully it's enough. The miner will be here. 400 damage! Whoa! Mines aren't that bad, bruh! I'd actually like to just place a lot of mines so that he just steps in all of them. And doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, 400 damage per mine, that's not worth it, probably, right? My armor is going to break. And if my armor breaks during this fight, I'll be kind of in deep, deep trouble. Okay, we gotta get another one of these weapons. No, I'm stunned. I'm stunned again. Bloody not lovely. I got stunned again, couldn't outrun it. So I get the rolling skill. Sure, boomer. Said no one ever. Oh my goodness. Stop it! What is this? Have they increased his range? Get some help. Oh my goodness, I can't outrun you guys before I used to outrun that thing. No, it doesn't work for some reason, and I don't understand why. Alright. Oh my goodness, again, I don't get it. Like, they've changed something with the miner. He wasn't like that before, guys. I'm telling you, miner used to be a little bit... His AoE effects like this one. I mean, maybe they're, maybe they're the same. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was just a stun. That wasn't a stun, I mean. It was just a basic attack. Once I get a second, I need to add more first aid, because just in case. Okay, let's add some more first aid kits. Okay. Okay. There we go, got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completely destroyed the schmuck. Let's get the terminal card. And yeah, before we open up that terminal card, we'll have to go back to the base and we'll have to assemble that forklift. So let's get ready for that forklift. You mean bogged? No, no, the miner is not bogged. Everything is the same. It's just that the last few times when I fought the miner, when he does that huge round AoE attack or whatever, Usually I was here in the corner. Usually he was doing that attack when he was here and I was there in the corner, but now he kept doing those attacks when he was up here or around this place and I couldn't escape anywhere as I was getting stuck here. So it was kind of weird. So I opened the package. No, I will not open the package. Literally, that's the only reason why we fought the miner. We are going to open up the crate. Cyric, open the crate. What do you think I'm going to do with this uh, cargo card? Do you think I'm going to delete this card or something? I don't get it. What do you feel the need to say that Tyke open up the crate? What do you think I'm going to do with it? We will open it up. As I said, before we open it up, we need to assemble the forklift. I even explained that. <sighs> it is what it is. Oh, package from the delivery. We don't... It's not ready yet. You need 1,500 points. We need still a few more points. I can't open it up. I can't open it up. Okay, let's do this. Let's 
go here and uh, yeah let's get all the necessary items to assemble that forklift again i don't really want to waste these aluminum cables on that forklift it's not really worth it it's stupid like actually it's borderline stupid i don't think anyone should assemble that forklift it's stupid it, it's not worth it i'm just assembling it because content it's something but i should should have probably used these aluminum cables on a substation at the settlement but i'm not gonna do it because i'll open up the forklift crate even though it's bad kind of even straight up garbage yeah bor not borderline garbage but like actually garbage like sewer dog water it's bad but i'm still gonna open it up Miner did not give any delivery points. Yikes. So let's fill up this crate and bam, guys. And let's finish the forklift. Look at this. It went up. Now we can cross it. No, it's good. No, it's not good. We're getting drone items that we don't need that I'll never be able to upgrade. The, it's bad. There we go. We can go across it. And now we can use this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Say, so this crate is bad. It is goop. And you will be the first one to see that it's goop. That it is goop. They nerfed the crate. Which crate they nerfed it? What crate did they nerf? All of them? The lab crate is better. What do you mean the lab crate? Why didn't they make the guy capable of jumping over? I don't know. Logic? And last and earth reasons? I don't know. So guys, let's open up that crate, the forklift crate. I am ready to open it up. You are ready to see the loot. Let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's activate it. Let's authorize ourselves in, and uh, yeah, we got this loot, the classified loot. We could open up this one, which is the good crate! CYF crate is the best crate that I want, because it has iron rods. So we could either open up this one. This one is goop, I don't think I've ever opened it up. It's maybe not that bad, because you, can, you have a chance of getting these reanimators, so... That's it. Also, here you can get a tactical backpack, but you can only get it once you assemble the forklift. And forklift is kind of hard to assemble, so I don't get it. But I don't want any of the loot here. I don't want anything, guys. I don't want this fourth crate. Honestly, the fourth crate is bad. This is the best crate. I want to open up this one because it's it's the best crate for me. This is a garbage crate, but I'll open it up nonetheless. Because this is a new crate. But it is garbage sewer water. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I am wrong. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Not the worst crate ever, but as I said, that other CYF crate is better. Also, I'd probably go for the third crate that gives guns and other things. Because here, I mean, you can get that fiberglass, you can get some other things. You can get another flight controller. Which, okay, but where do we even need it? Why, why do we need that flight controller? We've got another uh, drone mod. Overdrive, let's get it. Oh, we also are getting two guns. Oh, that's great. We are, we've also gotten two ultimatums. We got in that slasher and the raider's armor, which... Wait, why can't equip it? I know why I can't equip it. Because I need to perhaps delete it. And now I can equip it, okay. Where are the armor? Yes, that's what we're gonna do. And coils. We gotta find some space for these coils. There, there's a broken gun. Let's do this. So, it's decent. I mean, it's decent. I mean, I'm not saying that this is a bad crate. By no means. I think it's a decent crate. For what we've done here, I think it's actually probably a decent crate. Again, most of the loot, I don't even know where I'm gonna use it. Like, for example, these flight controllers. They're probably used to upgrade drones, but I don't need it. Like, these copper wires. Uh, I think we also need these copper wires for the thing. 
uh, whatever it's called. I have pictures of it. Signal amplifier, right? There we go. I have a picture of the signal amplifier. And uh, we need 20 of these things, guys. We need 20 wires. So getting these wires was kind of worth it. But we also need 10 iron rods. So this crate is also good. But can you get iron rods? Uh, but can you get copper wires from the second crate? The CYF crate? Probably you can. So this is not the worst crate. It's a good crate. It is an okay crate. But as I said, myself personally, I'd probably get the CYF crate. Because I currently need that loot. And if you need guns, then the third crate is better. But if you need random things, then... This fourth crate is not bad at all. I'm not saying that it's bad, by no means. But hey, it's probably going to be better once you assemble the drone upgrade station, whatever. Uh, drone modification station, but I still don't have it yet. It's like has pictures of the thing. Yes, indeed. Eight phones is game changing. Yes, indeed. It's okay, loot. Nothing too crazy. As I said, I'd prefer something else, but I've gotten these six copper wires, which is needed for us to unlock the suburbs. For those who don't know, you unlock the suburbs once you unlock the ATV, and then you go to the ATV watchtower, and then you have to do something there to assemble a signal amplifier. And once you assemble that signal amplifier over here, we will be able to unlock the suburbs. But yeah. That'll take quite a while for us. So you know what? It's not that bad. I don't mind this crate. I'll be opening up this crate probably in the second CYF crate the most frequently as this crate gives us copper wires and I need that. And the CYF crate gives us settlement resources and iron rods that I need. But like, don't you already have all the resources for it? No, I don't. I don't have all of them. I still need lots of resources for that stuff. I don't have 20 of these copper wires, and I don't have 10 iron rods. But even though, even after we assemble that signal amplifier, it doesn't mean that we'll be able to... Uh, go to that settlement, uh, go to that, uh, go to the suburbs. As they won't be available anyways. It's just a future location. So yeah, I only have nine of these copper wires. We still need a lot more. Water. Source of life. Water, the source of life. Syak drinking water in his natural habitat. Mm. Uh, electronic electronic circuits wait maybe I can drop one in the truck but maybe we don't have to do it actually no we still have enough things we don't need to drop anything here what do you think about the sneak peek of bunker alpha you mean this sneak peek here uh, I don't know we'll have to wait and see what that is Some people thought that it's a new bunker, but it very looks very, very similar, very familiar to Bunker Alpha. So, honestly, I don't know what that is. Like how many aluminum wires uh, you needed to use till now? Any rough idea? I'm collecting those. I'm asking. I have around 300 only. I have no idea. Depends on what you're gonna do. I mean, just just see what things you need and just do some calculations. I have no idea what you need to do with the aluminum wires and what you want to do with them. I have no clue. I don't have a slightest clue. What I have a slightest clue, though, is that we need to grind a little bit in the settlement, so... Let's go to the settlement. I'm not too excited to go into those expeditions, but let's try it. And guys, what do you think about expeditions? I don't think we've actually talked about it now, but... Are expeditions worse? Because I know that we had some players in the chat that loved expeditions. That They were like, wow, expeditions are amazing. But what do you think now about them? Are they worse? Are they better? 
Because, I mean, if you didn't like Expeditions, you're not gonna like them now. I'm just asking to those players that liked Expeditions. Has your view on these Expeditions changed or not? Uh, iron. This and that. Okay. Why you don't max your base? I don't know, that's a dumb question, mate. Like, borderline stupid. I'd be concerned, mate. Like, why are you roasting him? Because what do you mean I'm not upgrading my base? What does that even mean? Like, what do you mean by that question? There's so many things. And you're like, you're like attacking me. Like, why are you not dude, upgrading my base? Upgrade base, like. It's upgraded. What else do you want from it, mate? Stop touching my base. Stop it. It was fun until they made it harder. Yeah, I agree. Now the expeditions are definitely too hard. Um. Um. Yep. Yeah. Max your base to gold walls. This is real jam. Yes! I should do that. I should stop asking silly questions and just max my base to gold walls. Yes. Um, where is aluminum? I got a comment that I don't completely agree with. But I, that I don't necessarily disagree, but I'm like, I 70% disagree and 30% agree with it. You'll need to make strategy to use proper characters in expeditions now. I love it, says Try For All. I kind of disagree with it. It's not all about the strategy. It made this, the expeditions a lot harder now. You need uh, many more maxed out characters here, which are very hard to get. You need to like unlock all of these guys. I mean, let's maybe buy some of these boxes because for, uh, I've gotten some of those points from daily expedition loot. So it's gonna be hard to get them. And the strategist here, I don't know. I've played some strategy games and this ain't it, chief. This ain't it, chief. Couldn't even say it properly. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. It ain't it. It is definitely, there is more strategy to it. That's what I said. That's why I only, that's why I agree on that statement by 30% because uh, it's not completely horrible. Could have been worse. You'll eventually have them all. I have all through daily loot. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't. And it's good. That's the beauty about opinions. This group. And there is nothing that'll change my opinion. Um, I don't need to level up Rust. Wait, what kind of character I use? Like a jack of all trades. I mean, I could level up one of them, but I don't really know if I have to. So again, as I said, I don't completely disagree with it. I think expeditions maybe became a bit a bit better in some ways, but yeah. They're just now harder. For example, here, a mercenary in the pot loses 5% of health every three seconds. So on the back here, we should put Connor, obviously, because he's a melee guy, right? Boom. He's not gonna stand on that puddle because he's gonna run in front. In the second line, there's this explosive barrel. Explodes when damaged. Like, we should put here also a melee guy, but I don't have another melee guy. So I just upgrade another melee guy. So yeah, we need another melee character in order to progress probably through this expedition. Plus, we need to have an insane amount of uh, gear score. Like, 9k. I don't have 9k gear score for it. We have the destroyed station here. Reduces the mercenary's attack speed. I mean, there's nothing we can do about this. I mean, we could try to auto-squad, but I don't think we'll be able to beat this. I mean, we can try to do it once, and that's it. It's not gonna work, though. 
We need more contracts, we need to upgrade them. Like, there isn't... You need characters, not strategists, as uh, Rudy Alejos. There you go, I, I, you probably said it better, exactly. If you have maxed characters, you don't really need any strategy. Like, you might have the best strategy, but, you, but if you don't have the right characters, you're not gonna do it. Like, it's not really strategy, strategy. You need to have characters. Or whatever. You might have the best strategy, but if you don't have the right characters, you won't do it. But it's not completely true. Sometimes it can be the opposite. You can have very strong characters, but no strategy, and you won't be able to beat that wave. So sometimes you do need a little bit of strategy, but... Yeah. And here she's gonna get just absolutely destroyed. Why do you wave at the zombies? I have no idea. I think there's one more wave after this wave, though. Here we healed up just a little bit. Okay, let's deal with this schmuck. And it's stupid that my character was shooting the wrong zombie, not this one. And I'm sure maybe there was another wave. I have no idea. 30% strategy and 70% power of level matters. Yeah, maybe that's better. Maybe, okay, maybe that... That probably makes more sense. 30% strategy and 70% uh, the power levels. Yes. Probably. Okay, we need here a specialist. Let's add here a Tucker. Oil Potter reduces mer mercenaries' attack speed and movement speed by 20%. So what kind of a mercenary I should put here? I have no idea. We can add here Jack of all trades. This dude ain't that bad. Blocks health restoration from using abilities. Wait, maybe I will put here Karma. I'll put here Jack of all trades and here I'll still put Connor. I don't know. We could try this one. It's not that bad. You'll need to put the correct squad, maybe. I agree with it being harder now. It is harder and I got lucky. I progressed a lot in early stages. It says try for all. Yeah, I mean, if... Maybe if we had this kind of stuff from the very beginning, it'd be easier to come up with strategies. As now, it's like they dumped all of that. And it was a little bit different before. I know, Nikas. I should have probably put this guy in front. I made a mistake. I absolutely made a mistake. I should have put Connor uh, at the back. Wait, let's actually go back to the base. Let's put Connor in front here. So as I said, the settlements, the expeditions here, they have more strategies now, definitely. Like, they are harder because they have more strategies than before. You need to have more mercenaries. You won't beat every wave with the same mercenaries. Okay, let's auto-squad here. We will remove this guy. I'll add Jack of... Oh my goodness. It's so annoying that it's... Uh... I mean, I can't be the only one that finds it weird. You need to remember all of the mercenaries. Okay, let's add Connor here. Let's add uh, Jack here, and let's add Karma, probably. I mean, we have Lemmy Maverick, but is he any good? Is this dude any good? We could put him here. He has 2k gear score. Okay, let's add this guy. So either that or her. They heal them up, we'll see. What's the chicken doing on the van roof? I have no idea. So yeah, in total, like, I kind of don't disagree or agree that settlements became better. The expedition. They became really hard, though. But other than that, maybe they're headed in the right direction. What do I know? Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no, I overheated my turret. Okay, let's drop another turret. Like, hey, actually, here we stand a chance, I guess. Oh no, the guy just died. Whoa. Just said that we stand a chance and the dude just died. And the dude just died. Unbelievable. Maybe if I did not overheat the turret, I could have dealt with those guys faster. Maybe. Well. We will have to wait and see. It takes so long for that dude to drop the wall. Okay, let's deal with this guy. And hopefully there are no more waves. Hopefully this is the last wave. No, there's one more. Whoa. Whoa. Like no matter what kind of combo I put here, I don't, just don't have enough power. I assume maybe. I still think maybe we can beat this. Either by upgrading some of the mercenaries or something. Not Connor, cause uh, cause attack speed. The reason why I put Connor there because he doesn't stand in that puddle anyways. He just runs away from that puddle, so the it doesn't work on him. So those debuffs don't work on Connor. Okay, let's add Tucker here. Let's add uh, Jack of all trades in front. Let's add Connor here, cause he's not gonna stay in the toxic gas. And uh, here we can add perhaps karma. Let's see how that's gonna work. Build a substation. Now we need 60 of those uh, aluminum cables. I've just used 40 aluminum cables on the forklift, which I said is probably waste of things. Did you notice that the rewards that the slot machines get updated? They replace hazmat armor with Kevlar armor. Maybe didn't see that. Okay, we're gonna use the healing thing very soon. Whatever, maybe used it a little bit too early, doesn't matter. Oh no, overheated the turret again. That's it, guys. We won't be able to progress. Turret got overheated. And now this jack dude's gonna die very soon, like before he didn't die first. Why did he die now? Kinda don't understand, kinda doesn't make much sense. Probably got a bit unlucky, the turret got overheated, maybe I could've done something. They say to restart it. Yeah, let's probably restart that thing. Let's try to do it again, I think we actually have a chance with this. With this combo. Let's do it one more time. If it doesn't work, then that's it. We're not gonna do the this expedition anymore because we need to level up our characters. Uh, let's go for it. But I actually feel like this is a good combo. We put this guy in front. We put Connor at the very end because there are debuffs and he's gonna avoid all of those debuffs because he's just gonna run to the front. And we have Karma because why not? That's it. Let's go for it. No, that's the wrong squad. Squad sad face. A squad. Then what is a good squad, my friend? Then what is a good squad? I don't know, sir. Okay. Lemmy better than Karma. Well, we just lost with Lemmy, didn't we? Wall. Well, 
Heal them up. Do we stand a chance? Probably not. There we go, the dude's dead. You know, this dude's gonna die and we still have two more waves. Yikes. And why am I shooting this zombie, not the lower health zombie? kind of stupid. Yeah, we have this entire wave and more waves. And again, I'm shooting the wrong zombie. Okay, I'm recharging my turret because I know another wave is going to come as soon as we are done with this. I go to the turret was it full. No, we're not going to have enough. Just a little bit more. Let's say the turret got overheated. Even if it wasn't overheated, we couldn't do it. Uh, but almost. Almost. Not almost. Who knows? Maybe there's three more waves there as well. A good squad is a squad that can finish the expedition. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Tucker's back there shaking his head. The most difficult levels are the timed expeditions. Aren't they all timed right now? I think they're all timed. Um, we could actually level up some of them. Like I could, up, I could level and level up Jack of all trades, except I can't do it because we need more points. So I'd love to level up this guy. He actually is pretty decent. He has lots of health. We can't upgrade. We could actually upgrade Karma. How many levels would she gain? Nothing! Not a single level! Yikes. We could upgrade Rachel. There you go. We could actually upgrade Rachel. To level 20 and she'd be melee and then where I'm gonna use her? Nowhere. But she's kind of... No, she's not melee. Wait, melee... She's not melee. Who's another melee character? I mean, Liberty, maybe? I don't know. All of them are goop. Rust is also melee. We should be upgrading Rust then instead of... <laughs> Anybody else. Actually, Rust is better than the other thing. Rust doesn't have a lot of health. But we can upgrade Rust. A few levels. That's it. In later levels, you'll have one or two characters still alive, but time is up. Yikes. Bless you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Rachel and Connor go so well. Do they really go well? Because after the recent update, something happened to them. So I don't really know if they go that well. Because of their buffs, maybe. But I don't know. Like, again, that's the point is... Like, I need to upgrade all of these mercenaries to see if they work or not. Like, I don't have infinite uh, stripes. Like, that's what's goop about it. There's so many mercenaries and uh, people like uh, Rachel and Connor together. Because of the buffs that they get, but... Yeah. Gold background means they're better. Well, it should mean that they're better. Can't upgrade, can't increase their ranks anyways. In any case, it is what it is. That's the settlement, ladies and gentlemen. It do be like that. Not the worst. Not the best. We could probably play more in those expeditions. Like, we could maybe take another uh, character, which... Maybe that's also part of the strategy. Now, expeditions take more time to beat. You need to play around with different characters, which is fun. But at the same time, you need to upgrade all of those characters. That's the problem. Like, I don't mind messing around with those characters and not beating the wave on the first try. Like, needing to beat the wave... Needing to play that wave, like, five, six times to beat it. I don't think that's the problem. The problem is that you need to have an insane amount of patches to upgrade those other characters. There we go. Uh, 
Um, and also the planks here. Oh, over here. We can add those planks and we can get more pine beams. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, well, we'll just, we just need to keep opening up those crates and maybe we'll get more... More mercenaries. We'll be able to upgrade some of them to level 40 and whatnot. All I know from all of that is that Connor is a good mercenary, and sadly I can only upgrade him to level 30. I wish he could, he could go up to level 40, but I need to get one more Connor, and then I'll be able to upgrade him to a higher level. A scum livestream? I'd love to do a scum livestream. There will be scum livestreams in the future. I really want to do a scum livestream where we play scum survival on a server somewhere. Uh, but one day, one day, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because Connor was the first. Yeah, but and just Connor is great. He has a lot of health. Connor has an insane amount of health. That's why he's awesome. He also probably does a decent amount of damage. See, so yeah, Connor isn't bad at all. You know what else is not bad at all? GeoGuessr, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll play one round of GeoGuessr, and then we will all wrap up. Then we will wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ready. Joe Gesser. Bam. Let's go for it. Let's travel the world. They say gamers don't touch grass. Well, I will touch grass. Right now. Right bloody now. Grip is the best and cheapest mod for M16. I agree. 30% strategy, 70% paid to win. Mm, kinda. It do be like that. Yeah, the biggest problem that I have with those mercenaries is that they are very... It takes a really long time to upgrade them, and you need to upgrade all of them. Otherwise, they're pointless. Um, I honestly don't have a slightest clue where I'm located. Um, probably not in South America, but that's what it looks like. There's a sign. You gotta be kidding me. Doesn't say anything, it just says stop. Oh my god! I doubt that it's somewhere in Africa, maybe. Okay, there is a... Some sort of a settlement. A community of people. Okay, I'm not on the last, last spot. Well, we, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Where was it? Oh, it was actually in Africa. Wow. It was in South Africa. I said it could be that. But I said actually that it couldn't be that. But yeah, uh, Tazaze3, thank you for being a member. Thanks, mate, for everything. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for supporting the stream. And oh my goodness, where is this? Um... Some people have already guessed it, but I do not have a slightest clue. How did this guy record it? Did he have just like a camera on his head? That is interesting. What also fascinates me is that they make those 3D maps on cars, right? Like some dude is going to go like, I don't know, 80 kilometers per hour, even like 50 kilometers an hour. I don't know how fast is that in miles, like 30 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. And that camera is still going to take nice pictures. I have no idea where that could be. I'm just gonna guess randomly there. But I know it's not probably Turkey. I just feel like... 
Just a, just a random guess. Like, I should have been knocked out. It was all the way down there in Madagascar. Yikes. Some people have guessed it. Not me. A drone? No, no, they're not. You, they're not taking pictures with a drone. Like here, the dude's driving in a city. Obviously, he's going here a little bit slower, but uh, on highways, they also take pictures on highways, and the quality is really good. How do they take it so fast? It's kind of impressive how they can take that 360 picture going like 50 miles an hour, like 80 kilometers an hour, whatever. Rosario at the hospital. Where could that be? I doubt that it's in Spain. Uh, I'll go, let's say, here, which obviously it's not the case. What if I switch my guess? Okay, so it was in South America. I'm just seriously being horrible here. Which one is the right one? Somebody has a a picture of that flag. Somebody has a profile picture of that flag, so you never know where is the right location. That's stupid. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's probably Cambodia. I'm like 90% sure because of the alphabet. Technology, dude, it's exploding. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. They say it's Thailand. Might be Thailand. But I'll go with Cambodia. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot where it is. Oh, wow. I'm not on the first spot. Okay, so it was in Thailand. Okay. Okay. Okay, Thailand, Cambodia, both of them have very similar alphabets. Understandable. Lonte Pinchigal. I have no idea where that place is. We're probably somewhere in South America again. Where? I don't have a slightest clue. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there are three people. Okay, let's... Let's go here. Should not have maybe guessed right now. Okay, I re guessed higher and I was knocked out. Yikes. It was all the way here. The dude just re guessed it. It's not fair. The dude re guessed. The dude changed his guess. Bloody not lovely. Oh no, no, that's it. We're not playing anymore. Stupid. Psych, play one more round. No, that's it. No more rounds. We did it. We did it, guys. So yeah, thanks for joining here. We are wrapping it up. This is the state of Coca-Cola. Yes. Every day I drink Coca-Cola. Where is Coca-Cola? Who took my Coca-Cola? What if he's just going really slow on the highway with flashers on? I mean, I doubt it. I mean, there was a picture where... Uh, like, you could see uh, those Google cars overtake other cars. So there's no way that they're going slow. So guys, we will be wrapping it up. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow with another video. Uh, can't promise what it'll be because I'm not sure myself yet. But hey guys, thanks for everything. Thanks, thanks for joining. See you tomorrow with another video, another maybe live stream. We never know. Take care and see you later, alligators. Take care, everybody. Take care, take care.
Take care, take care, alligators.